I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man, this sucks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Working Class Souls podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Ricardo. Edward, hello. Hi, buddy. Uh, our guest today has been on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, uh, numerous Just for Laughs appearances. Also, he has a one-man show called Pete and Me, the very funny Graham K. Graham, hello. Yo. <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> your camera. That's, you. that's Yo, the Graham cam. what's up? <laughs> Graham, what's the worst day job you've ever had? Uh, uh, being a waiter, I, uh, I should, I should let you guys know that, um, I've been fired from 18 jobs. 18. Oh, wow. man, you might have Ed there. Dude, Ed's been, how many times have you been fired? Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. My, 18. 18 is yeah, a lot, it might dude. be 19. I can't, there's, it gets hazy after a while. Yeah. For what? Like, what are the numerous offenses that you've done? I, uh, I steal. <laughs> I'm lazy. I you have steal. ADD. <laughs> steal a lot. Still from the cash register. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I never really, you know, I I I uh, I, got, I went I got went to jail and I didn't show up for three shifts. Uh, that was the one time I got fired. I've been fired for uh, just forgetting shifts because I have ADD. I am fascinated. I, uh, I've known you for years. I didn't know you were capable of this I, amazingness. Uh, I. Uh, yeah, just um, I have a bit about this. I was a house painter once. I painted the wrong house. <laughs> uh, I got fired for that. Um, what did they? Okay, when you are painting the house, the bit, the no bit, one oh, comes out. The bit, the bit is on YouTube. It's I did it on Fallon. I did it on the Tonight Show, so you can you can just Graham K Tonight Show. It, you know, it's a better version of what I'm about to tell you. But, yeah, yeah. But uh, oh, you're such a pro, dude. But I have I have um, I'm dyslexic, and we and I, I just read the numbers wrong. <laughs> And we set up shop. I guess. How many guys are with you following three, your lead? Me and Mike and Andrew. But, and you're the one they're following. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, well, they figured I could read. They're like, what, "What's the address, Graham? I'm driving." I, cause I, I couldn't drive. I, I didn't learn to drive till I was like 22. And. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. You're supposed to say I can't tell if you're fucking with me. I'm not, so I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. I used to have nightmares about driving, about having to like when I was like in my like. When I was like 20, 21. But I you're was from like, like the middle of nowhere, aren't you? No, I'm from downtown in Ottawa. Oh, 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 oh. I, I thought you were like so from I'm a farm. from Canada. I'm from Ottawa. I, I, everyone, everyone in America thinks everyone in Canada lives on, in an igloo on a farm. <laughs> I just know Bret Hart, man. Sit, downtown yeah, like, how sit, many Mounties do you know? <laughs> city of a million people. Like half my high school was white. It was yeah. like everyone was like Somalian or Sri Lankan. So or you Chinese. had a real life. That's what you're saying. Everyone, yeah, don't be yeah. confused. Well, I grew up right downtown with like you walk down my we used to have block parties it, it, the somalians uh we had uh, nigerians and chinese on my block but so wild we, parties we, yeah we uh, uh mostly white yeah uh, oh yeah 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 i basically grew up in like park slope in like the 90s oh really yeah so you know i'm not hardcore or anything but <laughs> we you know you like walk like a block and then there's like restaurants and stores mm -hmm. and all my friend no one wanted to get a driver's license my dad was from the suburbs and he was like what when That's... i was 15 i couldn't wait yeah and they're like i don't want to do that you gotta drive it sucks too much responsibility that's why i was t when i walked in here that's why i was like i was complaining about a car i bought a car because i'm 42 and i've 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 never owned a car it's like my this is the the, the third year of my life i've ever owned a car and I'm 42. F and I only bought it because I was like, I can't live my whole life and never have a, like... <laughs> never experience I, I should, being... I shouldn't even really have a need for it. You yeah. have a need for it. <laughs> I was just panicking. I was like, I'm not a man. List. Grow <laughs> up. I need a car. Be Grow up. That's, honestly. I was like, I'm going to be 50 and, like, only own a car for the two years I lived in L.A. I owned two cars in two years because one got a drunk driver hit one when it was parked and it I, I tore the wheel off. Okay, I'm going yeah. down a fucking rabbit hole of Graham, Graham now. Like, just brushing I his teeth, it, talking himself into getting a car. You're doing it, Graham. You're doing yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I would look at the cars. Was, That's a sexy one. I, you know? well, okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going off the deep end, and I'm, I'm really into it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I got to pull myself back. Sorry. To you, what is the worst job you've ever had? I was a waiter. I was an undocumented worker in New York. Okay. And um, I probably knew you then. Yeah, that's when I, that's yeah, when yeah, I yeah. knew you. That's when I met you. And, uh, I, and I, I was on a tourist visa. Yeah. And the, only, and the only way to make money for me was to work in places that paid under the table. Mm -hmm. So I worked as a waiter for like, this is partly why I got fired. Everywhere I worked, like 
couldn't pay their staff because they're about to go out of business. Mm -hmm. uh, so they would hire undocumented workers. So I, I, w I would only get tips. I made only tips for five years. And you were able to survive on just the tips? Uh, I mean, yeah, I would work. I worked. I, yeah. I lived in very bad yeah. places. Yeah. What's the uh, worst place you lived in during that era? I lived in a place in Bed Stuy. We were the probably the first pe white people in Bed Stuy. Uh huh. Uh, and you know, all you white people living in in Deep Brooklyn, you're welcome. So you're a pioneer. I, this is, I, uh, this I is established a pioneer. A toehold on the on the beachhead. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm not proud of being a gentrifier at all, but you know, we, I didn't know where to, there was nowhere else we could live. I lived in a. It was four hundred dollars for rent. We, we there was five of us living. I in remember this era. That you, you paid the price. I mean, you you didn't live in anything gentrified. You were no. You were you were part of the neighborhood. Though. No, they they yeah they used to they would they would rob my roommate. Uh, my room not they would like my roommate would get robbed <laughs> like uh, not they. Jeez, yeah, I know, but um. But the the you know local people would rob my roommate. Sure, the locals quite frequently. He started to have to carry a fake wallet. Oh uh, wow! With five dollars in it and like an old a, ID. A stuff. dummy wallet. A dummy wallet. Wow. Um, I realized that they I you know these people are coming in. They're like me. Like we're they're raising the rent. We're not part of the community. So like I would like help. There was like a community garden. I'd help an old lady with that and be very like. And I'd just be make a bit of an sure. effort to be part of the community. Yeah. Just a, a small one and it yeah. kind of helped a lot. Really? Um, they didn't rob you because they saw you helping in the no, garden? No, I'm also a f not an idiot, and I wouldn't walk <laughs> through the right. projects to save 10 minutes on yeah. my walk. And right. like, I, and he worked in radio, so you had to wake up at like 4 in the morning, and it's like mm -hmm. just a complete moron. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, 4 in the After morning, After the yeah. second time being robbed, yeah. the, the ten, take the well, 10 the minutes. Well, crackheads are still yeah. out at 4 in the morning. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Ed yeah. would know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the people who sell the crackheads. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ed, Ed would know. And... <laughs> 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 Yeah, and then uh, my other roommate was like very gay, and he had like bleached blonde pompadour, and he used to wear cowboy boots with tucked in skinny jeans. And the school kids would throw rocks at him on the way to the subway. I mean, morning. the bravery of yeah, white that's New Yorkers that are from somewhere else, like I'm here to make it. Yeah, I'm here to make it. Yeah, yeah. While rock just pelts you in the yeah. dome piece, yeah. I'm here to make it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it was a different time, and then, so <laughs> I was able to. I made this is true. I. I before I found that place, because yeah. rent was four hundred dollars. Sometimes, well, that was when like girlfriends moved in. Sometimes the people would break up with girlfriends. Yeah, and go up to like five hundred dollars. But there was like, but you were like, I'm keeping it at four hundred bucks. That's was that was your plan. If I can, yeah. Sometimes I go up to five. Sometimes I go up to six, depending on how many girlfriends. Sure, that you it really guys... depended on if guys were fighting with their girlfriends or not. My rent, you know. <laughs> But um, <laughs> hey, guys, can you get along? Tips were low. Yeah. Yeah. Tips were low this month. <laughs> totally. Can everyone just? <laughs> He's complaining about his just girlfriend. Hey, and you're are you guys making eye. love? Dude, she's, yeah, listen, yeah. she's got a point. <laughs> Everybody needs other dick. <laughs> Every now and again, in my opinion. Call me a feminist. <laughs> can we reconvene on this on the 15th? <laughs> but the, yeah, before that, before I found that spot, I was living in bushwick which was slightly better in terms of like crime but my rent was eight hundred dollars and oh. i made this is what i would i would make in that era of my life i made twelve hundred dollars a month so there's and no room my for rent error. was eight hundred dollars i had four hundred dollars left over for the entire month for food and for beer and i would just go to like trader joe's and buy those two dollar bottles of wine and just get ripped just shit get, just like chug one before i went to a bar and buy like one pbr and everyone's like oh pbr is so trendy all you hipsters love pbr i'm like it's two dollars yeah, it's the money i need it yeah that's <laughs> all i got i need it <laughs> that's the worst of being broke in new york and being single yeah and your your whole time is spent out because you hate your apartment yeah you have no money i mean that is yeah right the worst the girls i lived with in that house they sold cars they were like one sold car one one was like a i don't know what she was but they were like from like long island or something mm -hmm. and I, my parents came to visit it and they stayed in my bedroom and i slept on the couch and this car salesman woman came home and just 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 brought home a guy and got railed and she's just so loud it's like <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah! <laughs> like loud, like I, I'm like, it woke me up. I'm like, my parents, they're a hundred, they're right there. 
<laughs> she was well aware that you were having your parents stay, right? Yeah, yeah, she didn't care. Uh, she oh, was annoyed, man. probably. Uh, that's so Jesus. good. What'd your parents say the next morning? They, my parents don't talk about that kind of stuff. Oh, oh that's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. You just yeah. muscle through breakfast like they didn't hear. She's walking out, just good. all the, the fuck me hair. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. I love that. I love, that's like, so your good. parents are yeah. so nice. Because yeah, well. that's, like, your, uh, that's what, like, the inspiration behind Pete and me, right, is that your parents one day are going to be gone and you'll be yeah, so you'll I will, be with Pete. I have a one-man show. It's, like, a mostly stand-up, but mm-hmm. it's got, like, an arc and, I guess, some feeling. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's about how, like, my brother, my only sibling has pretty severe uh, autism and I'm going to have to move home and take care of him. So... Uh, when my parents uh, die from natural causes, sure, or I go up and there and shoot peacefully. them in the head, <laughs> shoot them right in or the, the other. head. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Here's your holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's dark. <laughs> your poor parents. <laughs> what kind of cars did that chick sell? I can't get her out of my head now. All that moaning you're doing. No idea. What do you? You want to go? Why is it buy weird a, that? Is you want to get your get well, yourself yeah. into a used Tercel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of lease you need? Only used Tercel. <laughs> is that you didn't want to drive? You never wanted a car, and then you live with a car salesman. So your whole life, yeah, has been driven. That's right. By the car. By the car. Yeah. <laughs> right away from the car. What? Okay, so you've been fired eighteen times. Yeah. What was the worst way you were ever fired? So the worst job I had, I, I'll finish this, is I was an undocumented worker. I worked in Chelsea in a, in a gay neighborhood, and the guy, he owned five restaurants. He was Italian-American. He was five feet tall. He was racist. <laughs> he was homophobic. He hated everyone around him. He had an affair with the Afro-Cuban um, uh, st- uh, hostess. Hostess, thank you. I was like, stewardess? Like, no. <laughs> My brain was like, stewardess again? I'm like, no brain. No. <laughs> well, the hostess, the hostess is always the hottest. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's, They're up right. front. And Especially with the guy. A guy a the guy, guy like who owns that. it, he, he yeah. hires the hottest, yeah. too. Exactly, yeah. Right. yeah. And he had an affair. They had a kid. Oh. And we would have to do, uh, and they, the, the wife didn't know, or she did, but she was old school Italian, and the, oh, the daughter worked there, and she was the manager, and she knew, but she wouldn't tell her mom. And wow. I – sometimes I'd have to go early in the morning and go on a fish run. We'd go and to the, with the, in the van and go buy – you know, fish. it was a seafood restaurant. We'd go down to the market and buy fish. And um, and his, like, three-, four-year-old son would be, like, crying – like, I'd – like climbing all he'd bring the, the the son and he'd be climbing all over the van without a seat belt i'd be in the passenger seat and the italian racist homophobic guy would be driving and he'd be like he'd look it out the window and then we'd pass a black person and he'd be like that's an n-word you're not an n-word to his, to his little son wow yeah yeah how, how uncomfortable. I and mean, I'm just you must like, have just been sitting there. Like, like, what do you do? I'm like, I sh- I f- if, if I was allowed to work, I'd get another job. <laughs> but I'm legally not allowed to get a job. So I, I, it's like it was so hard to find a job when you're not allowed to have a job. It really makes you. It's not easy. Everyone thinks, oh, it's easy to get a job if you're on, you know, you don't have a work paper. It's, it's really hard. No, it's funny because it's like a, you're not the typical person people think of when it's a legal alien. That's why they loved me because I, I looked and sounded American. Everywhere I worked, it was like me and a bunch of Hungarian guys yeah. and like whatever. And um, Mexican dudes. And, and they would put me, they would be like, I'd be on the patio. I'd yeah. be like, look, everything's fine. He speaks English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. 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 Jesus. And that's wild. They would put me on the patio there and I was like I I was I I was like a young hot boy and like Oh yeah. And it was like in Chelsea and it was like Oh sure. You're all tall too. It was like guys cross the street if you look at them and be like walk like with this close to you yeah like, they, they have cut off shorts huge thighs and they're like <laughs> yeah they Stop. just do thighs all day so they like, wear those shorts i was like I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> yeah i always say like it's very important i think every straight guy should work in the service industry in a gay male neighborhood yeah. To know what it's like when a man wants. Oh. Can we swear on this? Yeah. 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 When yeah, a man wants We've to been. fuck you. Like, you should know what it's like when a man wants to fuck you. I worked in a restaurant where I was the the only straight person. Yeah. The only straight guy. They call me the token mm-hmm. uh, straight guy. Were people coming for you? Oh, bro. Gay they dudes? used to slap my ass. Oh, oh yeah. Man. All of it. There was a guy. Yeah. 
taller than you, and he must have been two, he just brick shit house like a, a dude. And he slapped my ass so hard one time, I well like a tear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're in the bathroom Stop. like a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anymore. yeah, you're like I'm like at the computer like punching in like like wines and a fish whatever and, and just come up right behind you like Oh and, like, man and just, oh. And you're just like whoa, all yeah. right. Being a woman is a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've had older women leave. crazy. Yeah. I had a I was in a like a like one of those rooftop bars here in New York City once yeah. and I had a woman an Indian woman, which was crazy, and a group of Indian women up there there for like a celebration of some sort, but she fully grabbed my ass cheek. That is flattering, yet I see why people would be mad. <laughs> yeah. 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 And Imagine I think the flattery is me yeah. as a Sorry. man being flattered that someone would actually be oh, yeah. that brazen. Yeah. 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 If, yeah. You're, if you're a woman, I mean, yeah, if it's, obviously whatever. It's different. But like, but just the, uh, the, uh, if it's a woman, it's different. But if it's like, um, a, a, like a man who's bigger than you, well, yes. you know, you if can't fight. Like, oh, it's yeah. a whole different thing. Right? Yeah. 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 Oh, you know, like I'm, I was like, if this dude wants to just take me, I don't oh, it's know. Over. What I would do. Yeah, right. I mean, I would, you got like 30 I, seconds of fighting you, maybe, if you're lucky. Oh, yeah. I'd try and punch him in the nuts yeah, or something all, like that. Yeah. But, dude, he was like he was like a hockey player, like a rugby player. Like, dude. Yeah. Like, hockey, and I was, yeah. yeah. You'd be lucky. You'd be lucky. I'd be you know lucky, what? Yeah. And you'd be lucky to have him. Yeah, you'd be lucky to have him. Big strong, big strong <laughs> fucking like guys. That. Just take it. Yeah. <laughs> you'd be lucky to have him. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. exactly the... Be, yeah. Some hot gay dude yeah. bangs you out. So you didn't want it. Come on. Jeez, Ed. Be prude. Let him use your holes. Let him use your little holes. I'm a feminist. I don't know. know. (laughs) All these rights you're bringing around the workplace, but that's kind of like what you're talking about, though. Even as a undocumented worker, you can be treated pretty poorly. Yeah, yeah. I had no recourse at all. I. uh, You think that's why that guy was so openly a piece of shit, or you think you've been like with anybody in there? Like Dan Sawyer could have been in the front seat. That guy's saying the n word. The boss you're driving with do you think it was his personality or did he think it was because he knew that you had no recourse so he could pretty much do whatever he wanted in front of you and around you uh i think it's a bit of that he had no recourse but it's also the service industry yeah you you it's like all they have to do is is uh, like people walk into every restaurant in new york every day without uh there being a having to put up a help wanted ad anywhere and, and hand out their resume. Mm-hmm. So you, 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 if you're a server, uh, if you guys ever worked in the yeah. restaurant, they don't, nobody cares. Big server. Nobody cares. Yeah. They, you're gone. I, yeah. Like four are behind you waiting for that job. Mm-hmm. So he didn't care. Yeah. You have to be like really good for them to care. I was not good. Yeah. I can't read my writing. I'm forgetful. <laughs> I have ADD. I have OCD. I'm like, I'm like the worst waiter. I'm like, friendly i care if someone drops their knife i like i, I can't yeah. i hate when waiters don't you're do considerate that kind of stuff. you're yeah, a considerate I'm, person i'm on it but i will mess up your order yeah i had at that restaurant one time there i had two tables um and only two and <laughs> one ordered a salad one ordered steak and i dropped a check on the wrong table and i was like it was my last straw. If I asked my manager to void another go, thing, void another <laughs> no, thing, and switch it around, right. I realized after I dropped it, I I would have been fired. <laughs> and if they realized it, they would have asked me to void it, and I would have been fired. So I didn't say anything. And the guy who ordered a sa- ordered a steak and got the salad bill obviously was like, oh, sick. Yeah, paid it. Bounced fifteen bucks instead of sixty. Bounced. And then I was like, oh, that's what happened. I saw it. he already bounced, so I couldn't do anything. Yeah. So I would have had to like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it was too late for me to do it. So I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, so I didn't say anything. And luckily, they didn't look. They just signed it. And oh. Left. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they, they paid. They ordered. The guy ordered a salad and like paid like 60 nothing, bucks. Doesn't it make you think how many times in your life that's been done to you and you just didn't know it? Yeah. I feel oh, like there's some personalities that yeah. that wouldn't get by them as much, but there are some per- people that I bet. Yeah. It's funny, too, though. In a restaurant, like getting a steak comped 
is a big. They make a big. Yeah, they put the whole show. It's a whole show. Oh yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the they walk the, the owner the, out, the, the owner's mother, the bartender. Like just they're telling all the other like, oh, yeah. I gotta comp another steak. Yeah. Nobody else better. Yeah. 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 Oh they're always man. Big fucking blowhards about it. It's like <laughs> dude. It's a fucking frozen steak. Like I see, it. yeah. it's cost you a dollar more than those chicken. Yeah, yeah. That you're fucking serving. Yeah. <laughs> so OCD. I used to have a pretty uh, extreme case of OCD, where I couldn't leave the house if certain things weren't done. Um, yeah. How did that affect you as a waiter? Were you like these coffee cups? You have to stack them a certain way. Was it anything to do with the job? Mainly germs and washing my hands. Okay, like okay, all right. With other yeah. people's like saliva on my yep. fingers. Oh, so it was more of like a water. germ OCD. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 and like, and then it gets in you, and I have to shoot out the bad aura and make like a clicking noise. But I have to do it in the back where no one can see me. So I'm like, you know, whoa! Oh wow! Yeah. Did you ever? We ever get rid of that? I got uh, an Alexa Pro, and it really helped me. Uh, is that for hair loss? Because it's not working. <laughs> hey! No, you look good. You look good. Uh, <laughs> it's for compulsion. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, I. Well, what happened? The, it's always. I always think it's like I'm like sober, like I'm, but I'm always being alcoholic in that kind of sense. Mm. Like I don't have it anymore, but it's always there. Like if I'm tired, it kind of comes back a bit. Um, in other weird ways, it kind of like is still there um but i think the i main my main i had it really bad in high school my parents thought i was on drugs so they sent me to boot camp and i went i spent uh the last two years of high school at a boot camp because they thought you were on drugs but it was ocd the yeah, click because yeah. the clicking yeah oh, i, I didn't want to wow, tell wow. them what it was so i was like you oh, spent two years a in a boot camp yeah. it is a little bit of a speed kind of meth head kind of thing right like yeah it like is it. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 and uh, but the thing is, my teeth and skin were like never better. <laughs> <laughs> so they should have known that. Uh, and uh, anyway, so I went to went to boot camp, and it's like everyone wants to fight you there. Yeah, and you're like, clicking around, and like people are punching you in the head because you're clicking around. Oh. So like you kind of stop clicking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you learn to not click. <laughs> Who said bullying didn't work? <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking crazy. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's wild. Oh my god. So you're you have this wild background, and I never knew about a lot of that stuff, like you being in, in jail. Like, what'd you go to jail for? I was. Um, and you're sober. No. Oh. No, I like to get after. It. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember a good time. I lived once. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe it quiets the voices in my head. Uh, <laughs> but um, I, uh, yeah, I definitely party like way less now. Yeah, yeah, like, sure. I'm just, uh, just uh, feeling good feels good. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's like yeah, I'm 42 now as well, and yeah. I've hit that part where it's like yeah. being yeah. hungover is no longer like a badge of honor. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the point now where like I don't eat certain things because of what, how the effects for how long it affects me yeah, yeah same uh, you know what i mean yeah. i'm like I, I don't know why yeah i had that last night yeah yeah that f jar of fudge that i <laughs> found in the cabin yeah, yeah. seriously <laughs> yeah because yeah. that's like your new i mean because you're an addict you're sober so anymore. now yeah, that's yeah. kind of your yeah mm -hmm. your fix right is food unknown I, jars of fudge i always i read mystery this fudge norm mcdonald's book and it always stuck with me because it's i'm I, that's it i'm not an addict but he's like i'm not an alcoholic and that's worse because i can keep drinking uh, you know, oh, you know. Oh, yeah. I can honestly, I don't, I cannot drink for two weeks. I doesn't, I don't, I'm fine with mm -hmm. that. But like, I'm, I'm always gonna like just get drink like I'm 22. Yeah. Like once a week. Yeah. No, no, no. I, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of like yeah. what I was facing where it was like, you know, I don't, I could go a month without drinking, but then the one time I decided to drink, I'm, you know, yeah. in a place of yeah. absolute devastation. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like nothing's good about it whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I, uh, I was like, I was like 28. So this is a while. This is like, you know, 13 years ago or whatever. And I, um, leaving a bar and I'm with a girl I'm dating at the time and I'm with, I'm with her friend and my, you know, my new friend and she's, she's a lesbian. So she's dressed like a she was dressed like a guy mm. which matters in the story um and uh she was like a you know artist graffiti artist and she like tagged an out or uh, we were leaving the bar at 3 a.m tagging an outdoor atm and i'm like why are you tagging an outdoor AT why are you tagging we're almost 30 yeah. yeah i mean what are we doing here right. i mean the yeah. atm was like covered in tags you know 
and uh, and, I, and I was like, "You want to see my tag from ninth grade?" <laughs> and I hadn't done it in you know fourteen years at that point, so I do my little tag, and then all of a sudden there's these like big there's a big guy behind me slamming me against the grate on a closed bodega uh that metal grate that goes over the store and then they're slamming her too they think that she's a guy i guess uh-huh. they're wearing sweaters these guys and i turn around and i fucking crack one in the head with my with an elbow and i get him and he kind of stumbles and his buddy like tackles me and uh then they cuff us and, oh and they, no they're cuffed, and they were they didn't announce themselves they were in like a plain car plain clothes it was um michael bloomberg years the stop and frisk years yeah it was right. like a friday it was i got the, that a couple times stop and frisk that sucks yeah so if you don't know stop and frisk that's like the reason why there's like it's one of the reasons why bloomberg is not the president right now is like a very oh, yeah. bad you know mostly affected black people mm. racist uh thing that they implemented in nypd where like you have to have a certain amount of rest at the end of the month if you didn't have your quota you know there was like hidden recorders that cops like hid like whistleblowers and like the you know the police precinct head was like get your numbers up you want to work at fucking mcdonald's get these arrests up <laughs> So, you know, they're cruising around. They're like, yes. Just looking for someone. Oh, my God. Some white kids? Yeah. Some hipster Perfect. pieces of shit? Perfect. We don't want to look racist? They yeah. Bang, bang, bang. You know? Yeah. And they, like, they beat us up and threw us in jail. It was Friday, and I didn't get out for four days. Oh, that's what sucks about going yeah. to jail on a Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where'd you go? Oh, Were you at Rikers? Uh, no, you know, right, that's prison. Uh, but the, the where's the you were like in the county lockup. What's, yeah, yeah. Prison. The, you you go to the if you're in Manhattan, you go to the Tombs. Oh, okay. And then if which is in downtown, and then uh, if you're in Brooklyn, you go to the you know the other one. Because you have to wait Brooklyn. to see a judge. Yeah, yeah. You have to wait yeah. till Monday morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, I also learned that there's a difference between jail and prison. Oh yeah, they're big difference. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, but you, jail is like you go there and you're in a pen with 20 other guys it's a room like you know 40 by 40 um with one toilet jesus open toilet in the middle so you go no matter what you're doing and it's the, in front of everyone yeah, yeah. and yeah. benches on the sides mm-hmm. to sit <clears throat> and nowhere to sleep and you're in that room for three days for three and a half days three oh, nights man. four days and they kind of like move you from cell to cell, kind of like as you get closer to see the judge, and you don't know if it's day or night. There's no windows, and people are shitting by like if you're if you're in there when it's full, you, the only place to sleep is right by the toilet, and people are shitting by your head. And um, you gotta sleep at some point. It's 72 hours. There's just no way around it. Yeah, they told one guy they're really nice. People are really nice in jail. Apparently, they they those same people will flip and be mean to you when they go to prison if you oh. get that far. But they were like, one dude was like, he's like, yeah, white boy. These they all. When I got my mugshot taken, that it's like a hundred people look at you because they're bored. They've been there for like three days. <laughs> it's exciting when people come in and everyone can see you, yeah. and, and they're like, yo. They go. They got one guy goes. That white N word looks like Tom Brady, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone starts laughing. <laughs> the goat. Yeah. I was like, all right. The that's goat. Like, I was like, county. That's a good one. I'm like so hungover. I'm like, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, and they'd be like, "Yo, Tom Brady." <laughs> so that whole weekend, you were Tom Brady. Yeah, yo, Tom Brady, come here. And, he, and he, if you and walked in the neighborhood and saw one of those guys, they'd be, hey, yo, Tom, Brady. they would remember you. Maybe. Yeah, they would. <laughs> he helped me. One guy was like, he, "Here's what you gotta do. You gotta act. They give you little sandwiches and plastic bags." And he goes, "You." It was like, it was luckily the winter, so I was wearing like a t-shirt, then a sweater, then my jacket. And he goes. He goes, you ask for extra sandwiches. Don't take them out of the Ziploc bag. You keep, you take off your T-shirt. You put them in the T-shirt. That's your pillow. Then you can lie on the ground. Then you got a little pillow. Your jacket is your... And you put your sweater back on. Your jacket is the blanket. How Okay. How many times is he in county to figure this out? Or is it passed down generation to generation? Passed down. I'm passing it down to you. I mean, thank you. If I ever go to county, yeah, yeah. I might know. So yeah. you're using the sandwich bags. Inside your T-shirt yeah, as yeah. a pillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And there were, the walls were covered in peanut butter numbers because when you dial collect, there's like one payphone, and when you dial collect, they go, 
I, I want a number for Josh Accardo, and they go, Josh Accardo's number is six four seven eight two nine three yeah. two nine, and then they hang up, right? But you don't have a pen, but you get the peanut butter sandwiches. Oh my god! So people are like, <laughs> and peanut butter, like nine seven. So the whole wall wow. was peanut butter numbers. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's fascinating. Yeah. Man, you should go back. You come. You could be like <laughs> yeah. Hemingway. Yeah. You'd be the Hemingway of county prison, dude. I'm like into this story like Shawshank Redemption. I'm hoping the movie comes out. I'm not fucking around. The uh, peanut butter numbers. Yeah. Anyway, I got fired <laughs> for my job. <laughs> I'd show up for three shifts. <laughs> Why didn't you call them and use the peanut butter to make sure you get all the restaurants? Uh, <laughs> you knew how to fucking write the number down. <laughs> Yeah, you could have saved that job. I could. I also could have got out earlier, but like they, they, when they, they call for you, they call a number. It's not like in you know the the, the police go tell me a phone number, but yeah. they take away your phone. This is in my one man show, and um, and uh, but they, but the only number I can remember is my parents' phone number back in Canada. So they call that number, and my brother picked up. Oh, uh, and we always pret- poor Pete. Yeah, we always pretend that we're Bert and Ernie, me uh-huh. and him, from Sesame Street, and they go. This is Central Booking in New York City. Do you know a Graham K? My brother goes, no. I know a Bert. <laughs> and then I was in jail for four days. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been there for two days, but I was there for four. He just put him out his business back in Canada. <laughs> you see him just hanging out the phone. <laughs> goes back to watching He-Man on YouTube. Sick. <laughs> I know Bert. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, man. that's fucking amazing. Uh, how has it been doing the show? How many runs you do? You did a few, right? You were like uh, two weeks of runs or something, or yeah, more? I did. I did a, a two week run. It got uh, a nice big review in Pace Magazine. Nice awesome. point one out of ten. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm doing one more on November 11th. Never forget. Um, <laughs> Uh, and uh, that's that's in uh, I'm doing that at QED Theater in Astoria, Queens. Yep. That's for the New York Comedy Festival, and that's the last one I have on the books for now. But I'm probably gonna end up doing like one a month to keep it going until we find a bigger venue and bigger venue because yeah. we we're starting to sell that one out. Mm-hmm. Where was that? Here in, here in the city, under, under St. Mark's Theater. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. it's a great room. Yeah, it's yeah, a great yeah. room. Yeah. yeah, it's really good for what for for that point but then it started to well it's like, got that stadium kind of uh, yeah i like that stadium, yeah um so i i did a play in edinburgh and then i've done a one-man show uh how i love acting and stand-up i don't mm-hmm. know if i love them equally but stand-up i do more obviously but acting yeah. is i love what you can do in a setting where people are expecting you to not be funny the whole time yeah do you enjoy that or did you find that uncomfortable um i th- i i enjoyed it I enjoyed it. I think it was good for me. I think it's going to help my stand up. Yeah, it's going to help because like connecting to emotion always helps stand up. Yeah, right? I'm. I, I come from like the New York school of just like joke, 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 yeah, right. mm-hmm. joke, joke, yeah. and it's so good for 15 minute sets because that's what we do here. Yeah, but um, people go. People walk away and they go. That comedian was really funny. They don't get to know you, but if you like give them a little more opportunity. Yeah, a little more silence, a little breathe you in a bit, mm-hmm. and just get to like to show them who you are. They kind of become a fans. fans they, yes, yeah, they I was like gonna you. say they yeah. learn who you are, and yeah. it's like something I've personally just, regardless of stand up, have trouble with. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm on the spectrum, but I'm you know I might we are we all are I guess yeah I, I you know I might have a slightly more of a tinge than other people, so it's like I've never been tested because I'm scared, but yeah, but um, socially it becomes a little bit of a. A thing, right? Yeah. Connecting and yeah, I'm a little more guarded. Sure, uh, you know, I I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot, but um, could be two things can be true. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're not mutually. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much tech is in the show? Is it pretty bare bones? You know, you it's, black stage kind of situation, black box. I mean, theater. We have sound cues. Cool. Um, we have a video that plays in the beginning and in the end, mm-hmm. and um, we ha- my brother calls in. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, super cool. Oh yeah. wow, I love that. Yeah. So he's in it. 
He's in it. That's he, awesome. Has he seen it in person yet? No, Not he, that it would, he, he it wouldn't really, wouldn't get it, right? He yeah. Would, he doesn't really get it, but he understands that I'm doing a show about him. We talk about it. Like I, I try and get him to understand the con. He goes, yeah, that's good. He goes, do they like it? Or do, he goes, do you say good things? I'm like, yeah. Do they like it? I'm like, yeah. He's like, great. Awesome. That's great. He loves the yeah. center of attention. So, um, much like his big bro. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. We're, <laughs> it's fun to control the I can't wait till you guys live together and he has to get you out of county. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be the best. When you finally have to take over for your parents and he has to get you out of county. He doesn't drive. You're going to have to wait for him to make eight transfers on the bus. What, uh, what's the last day job you had before like you started doing stand-up and creative stuff for money fully? So... I was, um, I uh, got kicked out of America because I elbowed a cop in the head. Uh, oh, I was going to ask oh, about so, that. Oh, so right. that was the reason you had to bounce. Okay. It's one of so the what reasons, was the charge? Yeah, it was a- assaulting a police officer. Oh. Uh, but that guy got off, but it was expunged. It wasn't expunged, but it, it, it got expunged after a year. Okay. Uh-huh. It was actually a big problem getting a green card. I had to drive to Montreal and like explain it to a, uh, a lady at the, the American, an American lady at a consulate. Jeez. And because they weren't going to give me my green card, yeah, I already bet. paid fourteen thousand dollars in legal fees to get it, and, oh. and they were going to take it away. Oh. And before I got it, and I was like, and luckily she was black, and I was like, I don't, you know, I was, I started explaining everything, and she goes, oh, you got picked up, okay, you can get it. Nice. In her world, the, the yeah, police yeah. just make you disappear, yeah. and it's not sure. your fault. Yeah, right, right, right. And um, and so anyway, I uh. Uh oh yeah so I'm in Canada I am working um uh, as a stand-up comedian in Canada for a lot of the time I'm down to two shifts a week at a restaurant mm-hmm. I do um I do Monday Tuesday double oh or no yeah Monday double Tuesday lunch so three shifts a week it's like enough to, at the end of the month to cover my rent mm-hmm. and comedy is like everything else nice and and uh. I'm like, I, I, I get this like two week road gig. So 10 days I'm gone. Cause it's two weekends mm-hmm. back to back. And I get my two, my two days covered in the calendar. And then I, while I'm there, I book, uh, an ax body spray commercial. Sweet. Like an international one. And uh-huh. I'm like, I'm like, I'm looking at, I'm looking at crunching the numbers. I'm looking at the dates. I'm doing like a beautiful mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking at the thing we all do to see if we can finally make it off yeah, of yeah. the shit we're earning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I got all these, these bookings for stand up lined up for the rest of the year. I got this amount of money. I, I, I'll be able to like actually save money. I'm like, oh my God, it happened. I don't need to work anymore. I've been dreaming about this for six years being a waiter. You know, doing and working at sandwich shops, delivering sandwiches, yeah. painting the wrong house. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! I remember I've, my whole six years. Every day, I've dreamt about walking in and being like, "Fuck you, fuck you, I don't yeah. need you. You're cool. Yeah. Fuck you, yeah. fuck you. You're cool. <laughs> fuck you the most." You know, the manager or whoever. And so I'm like, I'm like, this is gonna be awesome, and I like. I mean, I, I like the I like the plane lands, go to bed, wake up the next morning. I'm gonna go quit. I can't fucking wait. And I walk in to the restaurant. The management and entire staff had been replaced. And nobody knew who I was. <laughs> Dude, that is epic. That's incredible. Nobody knew. So you still had to quit. But it had no ramifications on them whatsoever. They go, I go, I, I go, I go, my name is Graham. They go, who? I go, I work here. They go, oh, wow. oh, you were that guy with the weird two shifts. We were wondering who that was. No, we don't need you. And I, go, I got fired again. Somehow. <laughs> How'd I get fired? I'm quitting. <laughs> That's so brilliant. <laughs> I just walked home. I just walked back to the subway, no car. And was like, it was like uh, the 18 was up there for the jobs you've been fired from, yeah. and then you had to add a nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's that's fucking oh my incredible. God. So it, things have been going well. Uh, if you follow Graham, you know that he opens for for Nate. That's so cool. And, yeah, it's that's we're, awesome. We're doing freaking stadium. That's an, he uh, unbelievable. I love that guy, arena. man. Good for him. I'm Arenas, talking about him forever. 10, 12, 14,000 people. How okay, so how is cool. that? And you go back to your gigs. <laughs> it's like it is not like, that your gigs are bad by any means but that dude's like top of the food chain yeah. you gotta go do it, the, it, it the, is, the it common is man gig very interesting to be like be in a, an arena and there is like the pittsburgh penguins play here and there's yeah. 14 000 people and they're there he he can't sell enough tickets people can't yeah. get in and then I go to my little one man show in the village and like there's like a sixty seat that, theater and I'm like I fucking almost sold it out tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's I what I'm every talking day. about, baby. If I get forty tickets sold, yeah. like yeah. Take that. Put yeah. it in your pipe and smoke People it. I'm out of draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, well, first couple of nights I was like, Well, we got twenty, that's a crap. <laughs> Small theater, that's a crap, baby. So what's uh not what? enough seats 14,000 <laughs> not enough <laughs> That's unbelievable <laughs> This guy's out front selling I tickets know. yeah right <laughs> scalping tickets <laughs> yeah, to the so, Oh man God damn So what uh what now <laughs> Uh well the the that the one man show <laughs> I'm it's uh, you know I have a a TV it's, I'm trying to make it into a TV show. Sure. I'm oh, cool. in talks with a production company. Mm -hmm. It's going pretty well. So we're that's kind of like slow. That's it's so slow, but yeah. it's like churning. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna take it off Broadway and get into a bigger theater. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm really excited. For that's very it's exciting. Like, that's yeah, we might awesome. go to Edinburgh, but I'm not sure. But it's uh, it's the best thing I've ever done. I'm really proud of it. How long take um, you to write it? You said it was mostly your stand-up, so I'm assuming some of that stuff was built in, but it sounds like you have a lot of supporting uh, stories and all like that. It probably like a year and a half. Yeah. You have a director? Did you direct it yourself? I have a, a couple con consults. Nice. Um, but I have a producer. I have, uh, yeah, I have like a like a little team helping yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. You know. Build it. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... Uh, that's the kind of main thing I'm I'm like doing right now and excited about. Yeah, is uh maybe maybe even taking that on the road, but it's hard I mean, to like sell tickets in theaters on the road is because yeah. you can't do it in a comedy club. No, what you I wouldn't do, want I do, to, right? I do a lot of the I do like a truncated version of it in a comedy club. So you like would all, use a comedy club setting show, for it. The show is an hour and a half, an hour and fifteen minutes, an hour and twenty minutes, mm -hmm. and I do a forty-five minute version of the show, like all the jokes. Okay. As a headline set. And I kind of open it up with like some dick jokes. So to ease them in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the transition yeah. What they're used to. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, can, you just can't go to the Chattanooga Comedy Club. <laughs> Without a couple of things. <laughs> it was the best of times. It was yeah. the worst. It just dimmed oh, the lights yeah. on them. You guys want to hear about autism in 45 minutes? <laughs> All right. What if I talk about my balls for five yeah. minutes first? <laughs> it's like a little payoff to you at yeah. the end of time. I love it. <clears throat> All right. Well, plug where you're at, man. I know people want to see you and see what you're doing. I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Um, at Mr. Graham K. Uh, M-R, then Graham spelt like the cracker, and then K-A-Y. Graham like the cracker, K like the jeweler, Mr. Graham K. <laughs> Um, and I have to say it that way because people think it's K, like Louis C.K., oh, mm. or they think people in America can't spell Graham. They think it's G-R-A-M. Yep. Um, it's just a nightmare. There's no way to do it, and that, it's Mr. Graham K. So if you could follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube. I post videos all the time on YouTube, longer sets uh, at youtube.com slash Graham K comedy. And, um, yeah, obviously TikTok and X, baby. Oh. And uh, <laughs> all that you stuff. Um, but, yeah, I got a new, I have a comedy special came out last year on YouTube. It's called Graham K. Live in a Bowling Alley. Check that out. And, um, yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to be posting my dates all the time. My website, GrahamK.com, has all my dates, my, my tour dates on there. I tour, do my own headline set all the time, always traveling. 
Uh, or come come All to an time. arena and see uh, All the time. me do 10, 12 minutes and then Nate absolutely destroy <laughs> for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at Josh Ricardo, joshricardo.com. Edward? EdMcGowan.com, EdMcGowanComedy on Instagram. We have an email address. Yeah, use that email, email address. Email us. Send us to tell us stories about your jobs and we will laugh at you. Yeah, and you know we'll you know also give you some advice probably right it's uh, workingclasscomedians at gmail dot com we'll see you guys again next week so I got one more thing I, I oh. got fired from being a landscaper and everyone else who worked there was a felon I wasn't good enough you were, you were the only one that got fired <laughs> and I was the- and I had never and at that time I had never been in prison or jail at the time and they're like what did you, did you do something wrong like an actual job wrong or I just was slow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a good rest of your week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.